Tonight we're going to talk about worry. It's a very familiar topic. It's a topic that we're all familiar with. And it's something that uh, we're all dealing with right now. And tonight we're going to talk about being set free from worry. Hi, Joey. God bless you. Lula. Being set free from worry. Worry can become a bondage in your life. It can control you and it can destroy worry. Now it's a new week. Thank you, Jesus. We have a new month. Thank you, Lord. But along with a new week and a new month, we also need to have a new outlook. We need to have a new outlook. I'm tired of worrying. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of worrying. I really am. Parilo manga o worry. Parilo manga i briga. It's gotten hard. It's gotten heavy. And worry is starting to take a toll on people's lives. It really is. Worry is a monster, it is. Yeah, it's an emotion, but it's a monster. It can destroy people's lives. Worry takes away joy. Worry takes away peace. And worry brings sickness. It brings disease on a person. It's a proven medical fact. A briga anelnas falimos pomanus. It brings sickness and disease. It brings heart trouble. It brings heart attacks, high blood pressure. It brings mental disorders. It brings depression. It brings nervous breakdowns. People have nervous breakdowns because of worry. Let me just say this tonight. Worry has built itself an empire. Yeah, it has. Worry has built itself an empire. Asunen, worry is the leading cause for drug abuse and alcoholism. Asunen, please. It's the leading cause for drug abuse and alcoholism. So many people are on antidepressed pills, anti-anxiety medication, nerve pills, sleeping pills. Sapali briga, all because of worry. So it has an empire of its own. Now what does this word worry mean? I'm going to give you a, a, a dictionary definition of worry. Tonkan. Worry means to choke or to tear apart. Catch this tonight. A word about worry means to choke, de tasavez, or to pull things apart, to separate. And if you're honest tonight, that's what worry does. Sometimes a briga, a worry, it seems like you're choking. Nasti purdes, chasaras chibarval. Anel parimos petute. And sometimes it feels like you're being torn apart. Katari briga. But I want you to know something tonight. In saying all of this, we can have victory and freedom over worry. We can. God can break the bondage and the yoke of worry from our life. Thank you, Jesus, for that. God has an answer for our worry. And God can set us free tonight. And I pray tonight in the name of Jesus. I pray tonight in Jesus' name that God will take away our worry. That God will set us free from worry tonight. That God will take this jungalo emotion bondage that God will set us free from worry and anxiety tonight in Jesus name now I'm going to read some verses of scripture that's very easy to understand Jesus made it very simple worry 
Jesus knew we were going to worry. Jesus knows us and he knows that we were going to worry. That's why the Bible talks so much about it. The Bible is, is there's full of, there's many, many verses of scripture that teaches us not to worry. Because Janelle Odell and Bud Manus are dealing with this issue. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 to 33, Jesus says these words. Ton kan mi stole, please. That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life. Odell Motol, O Cristo Motol. Telling us not to worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear, isn't life more than food? And your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. Tonkan misto, somotolo Jesus. Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns. For your heavenly Father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to Him than they are? Are you hearing this tonight? Oh, Jesus, Motol. The birds don't worry about what are they going to eat, what are they going to drink. They don't store up foods in barns. But God feeds them every single day. I came home the other day and my grandkids were crying. Sitting behind a table at Oven. Why at Oven? What's the matter? Papa, we're worried. What are you worried about? That you're not going to feed us. So? Yeah, we're worried you're not going to feed us today. I'm making a point here. That didn't really happen. But can you imagine that? Can you imagine do te ves kara? I te roven chikits be do te karan. Tate, mamo, we're worried that you're not going to feed us. The truth of the matter is they're not worried. My kids never worry. My babies never worry if I'm going to feed them. They're not worried if I'm going to put food on the table because they know that I love them and I'll do whatever I got to do. So go to the bull take it off to make sure they 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 pravarav magaglaten and they're not worried about it. Catch this tonight. Why? Because they know how precious and how important they are to me and they know I love them very much. Oh, that's me. I'm a man. Think about this for a moment. Think about this for a moment. Make a manus, kai sam manus bila show beza khalo janav sati lav sama katar magaglati. So di mai o delo baro, so di mai o delo la show, so di mai o delo swanto. That's right. The good father in heaven, the perfect father, knows how to take care of his kids. If he feeds birds, magapral magapea, but chama magapral magapea, he can feed you. He'll put food on the table and he'll make sure that you're fed and your kids are fed and your family's fed. When we worry about these things, listen to me, please. When we worry about these things, we are questioning the goodness of God. You got to catch this tonight. When you worry about if you're going to have enough to eat or if you're going to eat, you are questioning the goodness of God. I sunen so motav to menga, please. Kakosa bezach. It is a sin to worry. It's a sin tenes brigume. It is not God's will for His children to worry. It is not God's will for His children tenen brigume. It is not. And when you worry, and you're full of doubt. You are questioning the goodness of God. I pray in the name of Jesus that we will never question how good our Heavenly Father is. Verse 27 says this, Ton Khan. Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? Catch this now. 
Worry is useless. Worry is meaningless. Worry has no benefit to your life at all. Worry cannot add a single moment to your life. Worry cannot add a day to your life. It can add a, a it can add an hour to your life. It can add a second to your life. It can't. It's no benefit at all to your life. But instead of adding to your life, Janel Sokoroli Briga, a worry, it takes from your life. It steals from your life. It takes away your life. It doesn't add to it. That's why Magapram Magapaya. That's why O Jesus Motol. That's why Warbali Devleski Motol. Do not worry. It's no benefit to your life at all. Verse 28 says this. And why worry about your clothes? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothes. Yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? Wow. So don't worry about these things saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your heavenly father, catch this tonight. But your heavenly father, your heavenly father already knows all your needs. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, Moto. God feeds the birds every single day. God clothes the lilies in the field. And if he clothes the lilies of the field and if he feeds the birds every day, how much more will he do for you? I need you to catch this tonight, The blood of Jesus was not shed for plants. The blood of Jesus was not shed for flowers. And the blood of Jesus was not shed for birds. But yet, Jesus takes care of them. How much more is Jesus going to take care of you and me where his precious blood was shed for? Let's go out, San Shordo, Palatute, Magapra, Magapea. Oh, Christo, Shabli, Devlesco, Golopo, Trusul, I dapes go trial, I short dapes go rat, Palatute. And if he, if he poured out his blood for you, how much more, how much more will he do for you, Magapra, Magapea? This is why we don't have to worry about material things. We don't have to worry about food. We don't have to worry about clothes. We don't have to worry about these things because if Jesus poured out his blood, he can put food on your table. He can put clothes on your back. He can take care of you. He can watch over you. He'll protect you. Because you're precious to Him. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8 verse 32 says this. Since God did not spare even His own Son, but gave Him up for us all, won't He also give us everything else? Hallelujah. If God did not spare His Son, with that, won't he give us everything else we need in our life? I'm giving you some reasons tonight. Hi, Kevin. God bless you. I'm giving you some reasons tonight. The Bible has given us some reasons tonight why we don't need to worry. Now, I know easier said than done. I know. I know that. I know that. Gino Moniek and I they deal with this. But tonight, tonight through the word of God, and through the power of the Holy Spirit, I pray that God will set us free from this ugly bondage of worry. You were not designed to worry. You were not designed. God did not design you to worry. We're, it's too heavy of a burden. 
God wants to take away your worry. God wants to take away your anxiety tonight. God wants to take away this burden out of your life. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus that you will let it go. That you will let it go. That you leave it at the feet of Jesus tonight. And look what verse 33 says. Seek the kingdom of God above everything else. And live right, rightly. And he will give you everything you need. Hallelujah. Trubulterodas e amparitsia le devles ki purvo. Te tadli devles purvo ane amaro trao. Ay te dikas te traiz ek trao kai sawor tango al este. Ay Bible mo told he will give us everything else we need in our life. In other words, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and he will add all things unto us. Hallelujah. We need to seek God. Seek to please God. Put God first in our life and God will provide all of our needs on the Amaro Trial. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 9 says these words. Hi, Kuala. God bless you. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for what He has done. I looked up the word anything in Greek. And you know what the word anything means in Greek? Anything. It means anything. It means everything. That means there's nothing but a problem of a payout we should worry about. Don't worry about anything. Big, small, no matter what it is, don't worry about it. Don't let the worry take away your joy. But dig some Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Hallelujah. Pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for what He has done. What we need to do, we need to start thanking God more. What does it mean to thank God? We need to get our praise on. We need to start praising God. We need to start lifting up the name of Jesus. We need to turn our worry into worship. Instead of focusing on your worry, instead of focusing on what, what could happen, what might happen, focus on how great God is and focus about all the good stuff that God has done for you. I'm sure you got plenty to be thankful for. I'm sure God has done some stuff in your life. I'm sure if you open up your eyes, you, there's plenty of things in your life you can thank God for. You can thank God for plenty of things, but most important of all, you can thank God because you're saved. You can thank God because you're a child of God. You can thank God that your sins have been forgiven. You can thank God that you're going to heaven. You can thank God that your name has been written in the Lamb's Book of Life. you got plenty to be thankful for. And as you thank God, I des to go ji and the sa so kardat to kodil. I saw so mistimos kadi klan katar chodil. This will take away your worry. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. So go di sa chibriga at magapral magapaya. Whatever is your burden tonight, whatever is your worry tonight, whatever you're anxious about, take it to Jesus. Take it to Jesus. Take it to the cross. Give it to Jesus tonight. And worship Him. Praise Him. Magnify His name. Lift up His name right where you are. And listen to me. When you worship God, I got to tell you something. When you worship God, you can't worry and worship at the same time. You can't worry and worship at the same time, Nasties. I said this before. You can't eat ice cream and be mad. You can't. You can't. You just eat has ice cream. I have You can't. You can't. Nasty has ice cream and be mad. You can't. You can't do both. It's impossible. I'm sorry. I tried it before. It doesn't work. You can't eat ice cream and be mad. You can't. 
Can I pass ice cream? You put a smile on your face. That's right, Christy. Believe you me. Julie, listen to me. Next time, San Jolarico, go get yourself an ice cream cone. I think San Jolarico. You can't be mad and eat ice cream. You can't. Well, it's the same way, Magapra, You can't worry and you can't worship God at the same time. Turn your worry into worship. Turn your worry into worship. Worship God. Lift up the name of God. Give Him worship. Praise His name. I dig sar jaltar patute cho worry, I jaltar cho anxiety patute. Why? Because let me tell you, when you do when you worship God, you know what you're doing when you're worshiping God? God becomes bigger, and God becomes bigger, and God becomes bigger. And when you magnify the Lord, He becomes bigger and bigger and bigger in your life. And as God becomes bigger in your life, your problem becomes small, your worry becomes small, your worry becomes tiny. But you got to lift up God. Lift up God, exalt God, magnify the Lord. I shelter. A worry, patute. That's what we gotta do. Paul and Silas, they were in prison. You know the story. Pandade, Marde, in the inner jun dungeon. And what happened? They started lifting up the name of God. They started praising God. They didn't know what was gonna happen. They just started to praise God. And what was the end result? As they were praising God, as they were worshiping God, the Bible says there was an earthquake and the chains fell off and they were set free. See, let me tell you what worship does. Let me just tell you tonight, so Karola worship. Worship creates an atmosphere where God can step in. The Bible says that God inhabits the praises of His people. When you worship the Lord, you invite God in. You invite God in and you allow God to step into your situation. Man, if we can just catch that tonight. Instead of worrying, instead of losing our minds, worship God. And watch and see what God can do. Verse 7 says this, Then you will experience God's peace which exceeds anything you can understand. Hallelujah. When you do this, when you worship the Lord and you're thankful and you pray, you will experience the peace of God. This exceeds anything you can explain, anything you can understand. In other words, God gives you peace that surpasses understanding. Above and beyond understanding, Odel Tradel to Kapacha. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. What happens when we worship God and we pray, God sends a guard over our hearts, a guard over our minds. This is a military term. A guard comes over our minds. A guard comes over our hearts. What does it mean a guard? Well, when worry tries to come in, the guard of peace takes it away. When anxiety tries to come in, the guard takes it away. The peace of God will knock it out. He'll put a guard around your hearts and around your minds. And verse 8 says this, And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Listen to this. Fix your thoughts on what is true and what is honorable and what is right and what is pure and what is lovely and what is admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. We need to change our minds. We need to change what we think about. What happens is this, Magapram Magapaya. Kanaveli Briga, Kanaveli Dar, Kanavelo Parimos Pemanus. People stop praying, they stop worshiping. They stop reading the Bible. They will depression pelendi. They will fear pelendi. This is the exactly so mangokarolo duzmano amenga magapra magapea. What we need to do 
Es cada vez que acaba para mi pie mendi. This is when we need to pray. This is when we need to worship. And this is when we need to open up the Word of God. We need to fix our minds on what the Word of God says. This is the antidote. Mga pram, mga pea, to worry. This is what takes away our worry. It's going to ginaze worba le devleski. I make aska cha worba te dela ni amaru gundo. I te dela ni amaru ilo. O cha chimos le devlesko. I'm Jimmy, how can the word of God, how can the Bible do that? Because let me tell you why. When you read this word, you find out how great your God is. You find out how big your God is. You find out how wonderful your God is. You find out that He's the God of the impossible. You find out that He's a God full of grace. You find out He's a God full of love. You find out He's a God full of mercy. And you find out that He loves you very much and that you're precious to Him. And you get to see all the great things that God did. And when you study this word, you know that God is still able to do it for you today. And instead of putting your mind on everything the world says, put your mind on what God says. I got charge la sa kailel a worry our party mos pa chu trial. O gujimos o worship a war by the devleski. These are the things mga pram mga pea that God has given us to take away worry out of our life. Verse 9 says this. Keep putting into practice all you have learned and received from me. Everything you heard from me and saw me do. And then listen to this. Ton Khan. Then the God of peace will be with you. Hallelujah. The God of peace. The God of peace will be with you. It's not only He's going to just give you peace. He's not just going to send you peace. But the God of peace will be with you. It's one thing to have the peace of God. But it's another thing to have the God of peace. It's one thing to have God's peace in your life. But how about to have the God of peace in your life? You got to catch that tonight. What does it mean the God of peace will come to you? That means you will have His manifested presence on each other trial. The key word is practice. Amen, Kola. Practice. Practice. Put into practice what you learned and received from me. Everything you heard from me and saw me doing. And the God of peace will be with you. He will manifest himself in your life. His presence. You will sense his presence. You will see his hand. And this will take away your worry. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Several years ago, I got a few minutes. I'm going to give this story. Several years ago, I was on an airplane, Korko, and I'm coming home. I dag jung a little turbulence. I mean, terrible. The plane is dropping. Le gaije po airplane roven screaming le gaije. The first thing I do is when the bad turbulence is going on in an airplane, I look at the at the the stewardesses, the Rikav, if they're worried. Because usually if they're not worried, I don't worry. But Katsa Dikava Muipe stewardess and she's worried. So she's worried, I'm worried now. Mulem Darata. So everyone on the plane is scared. And then all of a sudden, a still voice comes over, comes over. The speakers. It's the captain. Now, Captain Cuddle, I apologize for the rough air. We hit a rough pocket of air. We're going to be in this turbulence for a little while, so please fasten your seat belts, and we'll be out of it in about 20 minutes. Okay. A little bit of peace came on, but still, the turbulence is coming. But after a little while, Pali said said out turbulence. My is my is Everyone is screaming in the airplane. Chaches, it's very bad. So something happens. An amazing thing happened that day. Now this was years ago, before 9-11. The door for the cockpit opens up and who comes outside into the passengers 
is the captain. The captain himself is walking down the aisle and he's got a smile on his face and he's walking down the aisle and he's tapping everyone on the shoulder and he's telling everybody, uh, everyone, don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. We're getting through this. Few more minutes, this is almost gonna pass. He's walking down the aisle and he's tapping everyone on the shoulders and he's telling everybody that everything's gonna be okay and we saw his face. And let me tell you something, when I saw the face of the captain and I saw a smile on his face and I seen he wasn't worried, peace came upon me and peace came upon everyone else in that plane. You gotta catch this tonight, please. Peace came upon everyone that was in that plane when we saw the captain and we saw his face. Now understand something, the turbulence was still going on. The turbulence didn't stop, but kind of declam les komui. I declam les kifatsa. Peace came upon everyone. You see, hearing the voice is one thing, but when we saw him, when we saw him, when his presence was there, what happened? Peace came. What the Word of God is telling us, listen to me, please. It's not just a promise of peace, but you will have the God of peace in your life. The God of peace, His presence will be with you. You will experience His presence. And listen to me, that's the answer tonight to our worry. That's the answer tonight to our anxiety is the presence of God. It's the God of peace in your life. It's when you experience the God of peace and it's your trial. That's what we need tonight. And I want you to know tonight, the God of peace is available. You could experience His presence tonight. You could experience His presence tonight. If you want to experience His presence, you can tonight. All you got to do is ask Him. You got to ask Him, Lord, please, I want to sense Your presence. Heidi Devla, Heidi Asbamogoy Lo, Asbamogoy Trio Devla, Heidi Devla, I want to sense you, Lord, tonight. Le Pamande Devla Briga, Le Pamande Parimos, Le Pamande Dar Devla. I need your presence, Lord, the God of peace. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, then I end here. Give all your worries. And your cares to God, for He cares about you. Hallelujah. Give all your worries, give all your cares, and give them to God, because He cares for you. That's right, He cares for you. So with these next few minutes, who wants to experience the God of peace tonight? Who wants the God of peace tonight? Who wants God to take away the worry tonight out of their life? You say me tonight, say me. Say me and we will pray tonight. If you want God to take away your worry tonight, if you want to experience the God of peace, if you want the manifested presence of God tonight, say me tonight. God bless you, Sabrina. Zofi, God bless you. Anne, God bless you. Rocky, Sarah, God bless you. Sophie, little Mike, you could experience him tonight. Julie, you could experience him tonight. You could experience him tonight. Peter, Shirley, Kevin, you could experience him tonight. Polly, you could experience him tonight. You can have the God of peace tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Boy, that Gilda, you can experience it tonight. Nikki and Velvet, you can experience him tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Eddie Bunzo, God bless you. You can experience the God of peace tonight. Not just sending you peace, but him, his presence, the Prince of Peace. Jehovah Shalom tonight. Jehovah Shalom, the Prince of Peace. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, let's pray. Let's pray tonight. Let's pray. Let's pray tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Stacy, tonight, the God of peace is with you. Lisa Miller, God of peace, be with you tonight. Laura, the God of peace tonight. Followers of Jesus, the God of peace. Nick Adams, the God of peace tonight. Hallelujah. His manifested presence, Jehovah Shalom tonight. 
Kevin, Valerie tonight, the God of peace. Mom, the God of peace tonight. Sophie, little Mike, the God of peace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, tonight in the name of Jesus, we're asking, Lord, that you would manifest yourself, Devla, tonight in everyone's hearts and everyone's life. Jehovah Shalom, the Prince of Peace, the God of Peace. We need you, Lord. We need your presence, Devla. We need you to manifest yourself in our lives. And Lord, you promised in your word that you'll never leave us, that you'll never forsake us. So Lord, tonight I pray that your peace, Devla, that surpasses all understanding, Lord, will guard our hearts and guard our minds tonight in Christ Jesus. Take away worry tonight. Take away fear tonight. Take away anxiety tonight from your people, Mughadad. Take away depression tonight, Lord, from all your people. And send your peace. Your great peace, Lord. That comfort of your presence, that tranquility, Devla, of your manifested presence tonight in our life, Mughadad. Trade Devla Rat Gandhi. In Jesus' name, I only got a few seconds left. I pray that God will give you peace, joy, happiness. They let Lodel South Parimos on the Caso Patumende in Jesus' name. They trade Lodel Pescosas Timos Petumende. I did Delta Men Odel, so God did Trubulta Men and tomorrow trial. I pray in Jesus' name that none of you lack, but all of you will have everything you need in abundance, but more of Him in your life, more of His presence in your life. I want to say good night and God bless you. We love you. We will pray for you. And please keep us in your prayers. Amen. See you tomorrow.